The final four is set of the New Japan Cup. Hi, everybody. I'm Kevin Kelly. This is your exclusive NJPW World Post Game Show. We are here at Cork and Hall, where tonight the uh, two more quarterfinal matches happened. We had two more semifinalists uh, qualify, and I'm going to give everybody about four or five seconds if you don't want to be spoiled, if you want to watch the show in its entirety, and you've plugged your ears and you've protected yourself from knowing the results. Here we go. Three, two. Okay, folks, as we know, tonight, advancing to the semifinals, Sonata and Zack Sabre Jr. I can't say enough good things about Zack Sabre Jr. He took everything that Ibushi had to deal out. All the kicks, all the strikes, everything picture perfect from Ibushi. But every time Ibushi thought he was in control, Zack Sabre Jr. found a way. Found a way to grab an arm, grab a leg, do something to prevent Ibushi from moving forward. And he also has eliminated Kota Ibushi from the New Japan Cup. It's the first time that Kota Ibushi has ever tasted defeat in this tournament. So the one blemish on his record in the New Japan Cup, Kota Ibushi, you could feel pretty good about the fact that you did indeed. You didn't tap out. He didn't submit. It was a referee stoppage. Red Shizuno made the call, made the determination that Kota Ibushi could not defend himself. He could not continue and he would not submit. So the referee stopped the contest and Zack Sabre Jr. advances. Now, just before that, we had our second quarterfinal match of the night. A little bit of everything between Sonata and Yano, each trying to one-up the other and uh, advance via countout. It looked as if Sonata was in a lot of trouble early. Then it looked like Yano was going to be the one to be on the receiving end of that 20 count. When it was all said and done, a couple of low blows that referee Marty Asami never saw, and it, the, the match tilted towards the way of Sonata. So what a powerhouse final four we have in this year's New Japan Cup. Zack Sabre Jr. and Sonata advance tonight. And of course, tomorrow night, our first semifinal matchup finds Juice Robinson against Hiroshi Tanahashi. The ace of New Japan against one of the hottest rising stars in New Japan Pro Wrestling and Juice Robinson. They were on the same team tonight. Well, they were in the same, well, they all came out to the same music. But that was where the working together came to an end between Juice and Tanahashi. They weren't on the same page the whole night. And at the end of the night, it wound up being Michael Elgin trying to pay, play peacemaker between the two. So there's going to be some tension, I have a feeling, as we get to tomorrow night, which you'll be able to see live right here on NJPWWorld.com. Juice Robinson, Hiroshi Tanahashi, our first semifinal matchup. Zack Sabre Jr. will face Sonata on the 18th in Hamamatsu. And the winner of that, those matches will go on to the finals on March 21st, Nagoka. You'll be able to see the rest of the New Japan Cup live with English commentary right here on NJPWWorld.com. Let's talk about Tetsuya Naito, if we will, for a second. Tetsuya Naito has raised the stakes with Minoru Suzuki. Did Minoru Suzuki challenge Tetsuya Naito to come after the Intercontinental title? That certainly seems to be the way things were left tonight. Has Tetsuya Naito found the next person for him to dance with? And is it going to be the torturer himself, the Intercontinental Champion, Minoru Suzuki? we would be very interested to find out if Tetsuya Naito has some comments about Minoru Suzuki. We also did see the latest chapter in the rivalry that will forever exist between Kazuchika Okada and Hiroshi Tanahashi tonight. While Juice and Tanahashi were bickering in the center of the ring, Okada was the one who stood on the edge of the ring and boosted himself on the ropes, holding up that IWGP Heavyweight Championship, letting both guys know that he's the one in control. I said during the broadcast, I can't thank you fans enough for all the great notes and messages you sent over the last few days. Back with English commentary, the rest of the ride here in the New Japan Cup, and make sure you're there. Tomorrow's night show starts same time tonight's did. It's 6.30 JST, 6.30 Japan Standard Time, right here from Corican Hall. 
So no matter where you are around the world, make sure you're there. And then Hamamatsu on the 18th, the finals. Don Callis will be back for the finals on the 21st. I'll have David Finley with me tomorrow night. And I'm working on a very special guest as well uh, for uh, Hamamatsu on the 18th. So make sure you join me and David Finley tomorrow for more uh, New Japan Cup action right here at NJPWWorld.com. We're signing off now on the post-game show here from Cork and Hall. This is Kevin Kelly, and we'll see you tomorrow, everybody, right here live, NJPWWorld.com.